already currently about 60% uh, of global energy related CO2 emissions come from non-electric energy demands. Uh, so mostly from transportation, from um, buildings, heating homes uh, and industrial processes. Um, for electricity supply we have a number of options to uh, provide basically carbon-free uh, electricity, for example wind and solar power. On the other hand, uh, for the demand side it's often a lot more difficult and it will take longer to replace, for example, uh, cars with electric cars. Uh, that then also can be uh, climate friendly and there are even processes where currently no such technologies are available, for example aviation. These residual fossil CO2 emissions depend crucially on near-term climate policies and this is due to what we call the carbon lock-in effect. So continued investments into emissions and carbon intensive uh, infrastructures uh, will lock in the system into a very um, yeah carbon and fossil reliant mode of operation for decades to come. So if governments fail to strengthen their climate policy commitments for 2030, these uh, residual fossil CO2 emissions will increase fur further, uh, likely pushing the 1.5 degree target out of reach.